Combine by pair RDD transformation. Combine by key is also a pair RDD transformation that can be applied on a single pair RDD. The reason we are looking at combine by key transformation as a separate video is that it needs more attention to understand. Combine by key is needed in cases where we should do operations that are not associative and commutative. For example, calculating sum is associative and commutative, which means we can sum the values within each partition and then sum the sum values. This is not the case with average. Because calculating average of averages is not the same as calculating the average of all numbers. I repeat, calculating average of averages is not the same as calculating the average of all numbers. This is where combine by key comes into picture. Say if input RDD contains list of key value elements. Let's say key is the product ID. Value is the review score. Let's assume we need to find the average score of each product. For above, we cannot directly use operations like reduce by key and pass the function to take average. Instead, what we need to do is first sum up all the values, then find the number of values, and finally divide sum of values by the total number of values. This three-step process can be easily done using combine by key transformation in a single step. The first parameter creates the combiner as score comma one. Then the second parameter is to merge the values. Here acc dot underscore one and acc dot underscore two are automatically initialized with zero. This parameter will add the scores together and it will also add all ones to get the number of scores. Since this is combined by key transformation, the merging of values is done for each key. The third parameter is to merge the combiners. The results generated by various partitions are merged together in this step. In the example, the score sum generated by the first accumulator and the score sum generated by the second accumulator are merged together. Similarly, the count generated by first accumulator and second accumulator is merged together. Finally, the average is calculated by dividing the score sum by count. This gives the average score of each product. In the next video, let's look at some of the pair RDD transformations that can be applied to multiple pair RDDs.